Sixteen workers have been on strike for over nine weeks, fighting concessions, fighting for fairness, and so the labour movement in Ontario decided to send hundreds of people from Hamilton and Toronto and Durham Region and Sudbury and Sault Ste. Marie all over the province to come and stand with them here today in Bonfield. While the mayor has made, it seems to have made an individual decision here, uh, the council has not met since before the strike began. There's a real democratic deficit there. But he's also made all kinds of decisions, for example, saying that he will not go back to the bargaining table. Well, frankly, that is a decision for council to make. And frankly, if he listened to the people of this community, more than a thousand of whom who have signed a petition saying they should go back to the bargaining table and settle this strike, then he would be acting like a real mayor. But instead, he is acting as a bully. You are a part of this community. You have galvanized this community. This community has come out to barbecues. This community has stood in solidarity with the workers, with the strikers of QP4616. And is there any, is there any uh, reason why they should not? Because we are of this community. Sisters and brothers, I stand before you today and offer the full support of Unifor, 300,000 members from coast to coast who are united with you against your employer, your mayor, who is determined to undermine the foundations of your collective agreement. Contracting out concessions, they don't build a better country, they don't build a better province, and they certainly don't build a better community. We are going into the landfill site in Bonfield to see the mayor doing the work of the people that are on strike. And the mayor is in there today doing, doing their job, so we're going to, uh, to go see what he's up to. You've got to take something away, isn't that what you want to do well, then? You want to take something away. Well, on the front cover away. of a collective agreement, it has an expiry date. Yes, okay? it certainly Otherwise, does. Otherwise, it would say, forever and a day, this is what this contract offers you. You should be well, bargaining. Okay. And you know what? You shouldn't be worried about yeah, what you want to take again. away with these people. Get a picture of this. And no you, concessions. And you are a mayor Why that wants concessions. The table you want concessions. If they're not going to concede about. anything. You want concessions. No. Don't you know that that's <clears throat> leading workers backwards? My kids, they're uh, turning seven and eight, and they're learning about bullies in school and stuff, and they're asking me questions about what's going on here because they recognize that things are wrong. All we are asking is to have a fair contract, a respectful workplace, free of harassment and bullying. This strike was 100% preventable. Married Council are not only hurting us, they are hurting everybody in our community. This conflict will be felt for a long time after all this is said and done. We will not sign our collective agreement until all of us five are reinstated and we have our jobs back. There was a time when our social fabric and our social programs and our health care and our fair wages were really second to none across this country and in this province. But now you have a mayor that wants to tear this down. There was a time, there was a time that you could go to a table with the belief, and it didn't matter where you were, it didn't matter from Toronto to Capus Casing, Ottawa to Sioux Lookout, or Windsor to Bonfield. It didn't matter where you were, you could go to a table and expect to be treated with respect and dignity. That has been taken away. And a mayor in a small municipality like Bonfield thinks he can put people out on strike, push concessions down their throat, fire the most militant amongst them. Well, he's not going to get away with it, brothers and sisters, and that's why we're here today. So stay strong, stay committed to each other, and you know we will continue to provide the solidarity that you need to win and make your lives better because as someone said earlier today, you are the community. And when I say this is a microcosm, what I actually mean is that the battles that we're fighting here, we're fighting right across Ontario. Concessions at the bargaining table, attempting to rip apart our collective agreements, attempting to destroy the labor movement, and your fight is the fight of every worker in this province. And the way we're going to fight this, my friends, is doing exactly what you've done because you are teaching us 
a lesson in many ways across Ontario. What our members want to do is go back to do the jobs they love with their friends and their neighbours. That's what they want to do. But by God, we will be here to stand with them. We will escalate action as we need to. We will do each and everything we must do. And we will be here for as long as it takes. The strikers reminded me of their favourite slogan, one we borrowed from some of our brothers and sisters in steel. We will last one day longer than this man. Thank you.